We moved to Hawaii one year ago and we've nearly done everything. If we had to recommend one of our friends what to do here in Hawaii in a short period of time, this is it. This is our top 25 things to do here on Oahu. We're gonna start out with an adventure and that's kayaking to the Mokalua Islands or better known as the Moks. It's gonna take you about 30 minutes and then you're gonna to get to your own island There'll be other people there, but <laughs> maybe there'll even be some monk seals too. The water is pretty clear. You might see some sea turtles. While you're on the island as well, you can hike and explore, see the other side of the island. It's really cool. This is the most epic hike on the island. It's iconic, the beautiful haiku stairs all the way to the top of the Ko'olau mountain range. The haiku stairs is illegal, but there is a different way you can take so you can avoid the thousand dollar fine. But that journey is even more pretty because you will see the Moanalua Valley. Once you make it to the top, you see the beautiful haiku stairs. You might even have that fog around, which gives it the beautiful name, Stairway to Heaven. It's a beautiful hike, cannot be missed epic. Kaka'ako neighborhood. So this neighborhood has a little bit of everything. Great bars, mm -hmm. great restaurants. Yes, it's very trendy and hip, very artsy and creative. It's very fun to just walk around and spot all the different murals. There's even one that's made on the street. Very nice neighborhood in Honolulu. Chocolate tasting at the Manoa factory. It's free. That makes it cool by itself but it's also a very detailed tasting and it's all grown on a Hawaii. They'll give you very small sized chocolates to taste, but they'll guide you through the flavors that you'll be tasting, which can be cinnamon, spice, or lavender. You'll see the factory where they make chocolates. It's really nice. Sunrise at Lanikai. You will be hiking up this mountain. As you're hiking, it'll be dark, but as soon as the sun rises, behind the two twin islands, the whole mountain, beach, and water colors yellow, orange, and pink. It's unlike any other sunrise you will see on the island, and that's why this one is in our top 25. So there's tons of museums on the island we're gonna recommend too. My recommendation is Pearl Harbor to get that US history in. If you come to the island, you're gonna to wanna to go and check this off the list. Yes, and my recommendation is the Bishop Museum because it's packed with Polynesian history. You will see the history of the voyaging and the canoes. You'll see how they used to live and that will enrich your trip to Hawaii. And then of course, visit a beach. We recommend visiting a west side beach and an east side beach. The east side beaches have that deep turquoise blue water that's unlike any beach I've ever seen. The color is gorgeous. And then you have the west side beaches where they have long wide stretches of sandy beach and deep blue water. We've seen dolphins, whales, and turtles all on the west side beaches. So check that out. And we have a video detailing our top 10 beaches. So make sure to check that out before you decide which beach you're gonna go to. Yes. Hale Eva Joe's in Kaneohe. So you're gonna be really hungry after all these adventures and you're gonna to wanna to have one nice night out. The best place to do that is here. You're gonna be having dinner while looking out at the Koalau mountain range. It's worth asking a table with the view of the mountain. You might wait a little longer, but it adds to the experience. And come when it's daylight so you can see the mountain. You can get the biggest prime rib I've ever seen there. Yes. So if you're looking for a recommendation on what to eat, try it out. Sunset at Tantalus Point. It's overlooking Honolulu and Waikiki. You will see Diamond Head. And why you recommend sunset is because the sun is setting behind the city. So the city will have that gorgeous orange yellow glow. It's a beautiful sight and often overlooked. Don't miss out on this one. Pillbox hikes. So there's pillboxes all over the island and they all go to a nice lookout point. I'm gonna recommend that you try Coco Crater. It's a great workout and you get to see the entire southern point of the island. I recommend my Ini Pillbox hike, AKA Pink Pillbox hike. Gorgeous views, pretty easy. Don't underestimate the pillbox hikes. Don't overlook them, don't skip them. 
you have to do one on your trip to Oahu. Hawaii grows pineapples, macadamia nuts, chocolate, but also coffee. The Green World Coffee Farm has their own coffee bean trees. You can have the most freshest coffee right there. It's a nice, quaint, unique stop to have local coffee. And you're gonna need that energy for all these things that we're recommending. Yeah. Turtle Beach. So when you come to Hawaii, you're gonna want to see a hanu, a green Hawaiian sea turtle. The best place to do this is gonna be at Turtle Beach. I'm almost guaranteed to see a turtle there. And that's also where we saw our first turtle ever in Hawaii after living here for almost six months. So go there if you want to see one. Mermaid caves, you'll see holes and there's water underneath the waves are crashing into those caves and it's echoing. It's a beautiful sound. You'll see that deep blue water coming in. Don't be scared to uh, jump in. We're kind of chickens, so it, so it <laughs> took us a while, but it's pretty safe. It is a little difficult to get out, but if there's other people there, jump in, have fun. Watch some surfing on North Shore. So North Shore is known for its waves. Uh, you have Pipeline, you have Waimea Bay, you have all these surfing competitions. And it's fun just to go watch these guys surf these crazy high waves. For authentic Hawaiian food, you'll be going to Helena's Hawaiian food. It's in Honolulu and you will eat your lao lao, your ribs, your hapia, all there. You can see the history of the restaurant hanging on the walls since it's been there for decades. This is the local spot to taste your authentic Hawaiian food. Canna Point. So this is one of our most memorable hikes and I would venture to say it's our favorite hike. But the shoreline is made out of black lava rock. It's super dramatic. You have the blue ocean there. You have many tide pools and monksies are playing in the tide pools. And at the end is a bird sanctuary where you can see humongous albatrosses. The Byoto in Temple is a Japanese replica. It's beautiful and unlike anything we've seen on Oahu. They have this beautiful deep red temple. They have a gong that's still working, a meditation garden, a gazillion koi fish, and you can just walk around and take in the environment. Farmer's markets. I'm always hungry, so I'm always looking for some good food, and you can definitely find that at farmer's markets. So they have them all over the island. Whenever you do a long hike up into the mountains, you will probably see people carrying bags of fruit because they pick them in the mountains and sell them on the farmer's markets. This is a good way to taste local fruits and veggies. Snorkeling at Hanama Bay. So this is popular for a reason. You can see Beautiful fish there. What's the uh, Hawaiian state fish, babe? Homo homo nuku nuku apua a. You can see that fish and many, many more. It has a beautiful long beach that often gets overlooked because of the snorkeling. Make sure you go early and you bring some reef safe sunscreen. Waterfall hikes, a must do on Oahu. It'll be muddy, it'll probably rain on you, but you're gonna be in this lush jungle vibe and it's going to be green wet and pretty. But at the end, you'll have that beautiful waterfall. People are jumping off from it. People are swimming in the water. It must do. And some of these hikes that, that we recommend, Lulu Mahu, Mana Willy, Likeke, and if you're up for a real adventure, Kaiao Crater. Yeah. Botanical gardens. We like two of them. The first one being Waimea Valley Botanical Garden. And then you have Ho'omalohia, the one that we really like. This is a very large botanical garden, also with plants from all over the world, initially created to prevent flooding. Waiahole Poi Factory, another Hawaiian spot that has delicious food. But what we go there for is the Sweet Lady. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a hapia ice cream, which is coconut. But the real kicker is the kulolo that's underneath. Kulolo is made from taro, which is a vegetable. And don't you think, vegetable and ice cream, they don't go together. But oh yes, they do. Don't skip out on this one. It's our favorite ice cream here on the island. The Kuli'o'o Ridge Trail. It's not too long. It'll take you about four hours. You're walking through jungle forest, pine forest. Once you're a bit at the top, 
the trees will clear out, you'll see Diamond Head, Coco Crater, the ocean, and once you make it those final steps all the way up to the ridge, you will see the beautiful east side of Oahu. You have that gorgeous lookout and it's so rewarding. A must do hike here on Oahu. China Walls. This is one of our most favorite places on the island. We love to go here and snorkel. It's the youngest part of the island and it's all made up of lava rock. You can see the layers of the rock and this is a very cool, often overlooked part of Oahu. Don't hear anyone talking about China Walls. We don't really see it a lot on YouTube and it's one of our favorite spots here on the island. If anyone messages us on Instagram or YouTube, we tell them to go to China Walls. We've seen whales here, we've seen turtles. The water is super deep and so clear. It's awesome. Last but not least, this is actually our favorite thing here on the island. So rightfully so, number one, Kaneohe Sandbar. It's a beach on the middle of the ocean. You're going to kayak there or ride your boat. And once you're there, it's like, wow. This wide stretched sandbar in the bay, you have mountains around you, you have deep blue waters. There's nearly not as many people as on a regular beach and you can just hang out. People bring their hammocks, they bring beach umbrellas, and you can be there for hours, only visible during low tide. Sorry, I'm on mute, I couldn't say anything. I don't know, I don't know what happened. All right. Okay. So. <laughs> and you're gonna to wanna to have at least one. What? Oh, I thought you were. No. I'm gonna recommend that you try out Coco. I'm gonna recommend that you try out Coco. I don't know what's wrong with me, okay. They're from a amazing landscape to monk sills, to a blah, blah, blah. Make sure you go early and bring some reef-free sunscreen. Reef-free, reef-safe sunscreen. <laughs> Make sure you're for sunrise, I don't know. <laughs> you do this one. No, okay, okay. Here's, I'm gonna say that, that we like to go there for snorkeling and you take over. Okay. China walls. This is one of our most favorite, birds <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> now we're done have a headache 